This is one of the closest dupe I have found for the famous and popular Maison Francis Cajon Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge. Say that twice. Baccarat Rouge 5-4. Hi guys, I'm Rachel. If you're new or returning, welcome or welcome back. I do fragrance, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope you stay to the end. Everything I speak about will be listed in the description box along with all my other social media platforms. I'd like to have you over there as well. Today, I'm giving you some perfumes that I think are blind by safe. Now, I always recommend sampling your perfumes before you buy, but I know some people are rebels. Yes, are you a rebel? And I also know that some people don't have the resources to do it. Um, samples can be hard to find and a host of other reasons. So, so here are some perfumes I think are safer blind buy options. First up, we have Skylar's Vanilla Sky. Skylar is a clean fragrance house and is made with skin sensitivity in mind. And a whole host of toxic ingredients are left out of the perfume. So if you're someone who's sensitive to perfumes or are more on the cleaner side of life and products, check out Skylar. Now this is a pretty sweet linear vanilla scent. It opens up with a lot of caramel, which I love. I think that's the reason why I love this perfume so much is the caramel, the burnt caramel that I get from this. It's delicious. And then you get a sweet sort of powdery dry down. The dry down is also like woody, but it still maintains that caramel and vanilla scent. So I find this very comforting and relaxing. It's also a perfume I always get compliments when I wear. I mean, look at the dent. I'm definitely going to repurchase this perfume when it's done. I don't know if it's marketed as unisex, but I think both male and female can wear this perfume. I find it to be kind of unisex. Another Skylar perfume, Boardwalk Delight. Again, mm -hmm. check the dent on this. I loved layering this in the summer with Kaoli's Yum and Kaoli's Ju Eden Juicy Apple. I smelled so good. I couldn't stop smelling myself and I kept going for that combo all summer long. This perfume gives me fun, happy, sweet, carefree, youthful vibes. It's a light, sweet, fluffy gourmand and I get a light aquatic note from it as well. I mean, the name is perfect. It really just smells like you're walking down a boardwalk with a cotton candy in your hand and everyone is around you having fun with their treats. Just enjoying the festivities and a beach is not far away. Next, we have an Arabian house, Al Rehab. This is a cheapy but a goodie for fall and winter. This, this is sold on Amazon for about nine between nine and fifteen dollars the price fluctuates sometimes and this is a gourmand that does not turn like bug spray on my skin i've mentioned before that i have to be very particular with my gourmand perfumes i have to sample them because they tend to turn like a bug spray on my skin my skin just does not react very well with most gourmand perfumes this is like a chocolate vanilla cookie in a bottle imagine you entered a bakery they just bake some cookies and you get that aroma lingering in the air. That is what this smells like. The dry down is slightly musky and ambery. I will say, however, it doesn't last a crazy long time, but Ari have also sells the perfume oil for about $6 on Amazon. So if you layer up with that, you'll smell like a chocolate queen and it also increase the longevity of the perfume. I mostly use this for bed and for the gym or when I just want to be in the house just smelling like a vanilla cookie cozy. <laughs> So there we have Chocomus by Al Rehab. Orientica's Amber Rouge. I wish you could see the dent of this, like there's barely anything left in it. This is one of the closest dupe I have found for the famous and popular Maison Francis Cajon Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge. Say that twice. Baccarat Rouge 540. And this bottle will cost you about between $60 to $70 on Amazon. This scent profile is a staple in my collection. I love this perfume for layering with anything. I always tend to keep a decant of this in my bag, no matter what perfume I wore for the day and I want to freshen up my scent at the end of the day or just reapply, I would reach for this and it just makes everything better. So we all know Baccarat is a sweet, light, fluffy scent and this is basically the same thing. But I find that if you found Baccarat to be a little bit latexy, rubbery, try this one. I find this one to be a, a little less plasticky smelling the terms I'm using but that's what it gives that's what it gives so if you understand what I'm saying if you've smelled it you definitely understand what I'm saying because I know some people are turned off by that plasticky latex thing from Baccarat so try this one because I do find it less and like you have nothing to lose really it's like I said 60 to 70 dollars on Amazon like check it out so again Orientica's Amber Rouge now I'm about to butcher this name but here goes something 
It's Latafa's Quid Al Fasan. Of course, I'll place the name on the screen for you in case I did butcher that name. This is another Arabian house and another affordable perfume. I think I paid like $20 for this on Amazon. But again, all the prices on Amazon fluctuate, but not by much. So you can check it out on Amazon. So this is a lactonic creamy scent. You get some vanilla, some pineapple, and of course there's coconut in this that you definitely eat. As I was saying, of course there's coconut in this and you definitely get it. I think that's where it gets this lactonic creamy scent and, this makes, and that makes this perfume perfect for warm weather. Like I said, I get a lot of the coconut here, but the coconut here is done in a, like a Middle Eastern way. It's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it just has this Middle Eastern touch to the coconut in here. It's sweet and delicious and you also get a little muskiness in the dry down, which I feel like most Arabian perfumes always have this muskiness in the dry down. Otherwise, say this is a warmer weather perfume. Just use your perfumes when you feel like it because it's so like inoffensive and not loud and in your face. It's probably perfect for work as well. So there we have it. Latafa's Quid Al Fasan. Okay, Ali's Vanilla 28. Now, if you do not own this perfume, I just want to know why, sis, bro, like, why is this perfume not in your collection? You are missing out. Everyone needs to own K. Ali's Vanilla 28, period. This is a classy, boozy, stunning, straight up a vanilla scent, like, no dilly dally. It's a vanilla. It's in the name, vanilla. And this is a vanilla lover's dream, like, you need this perfume. This perfume is another one that layers well with anything and makes any perfume better it's like the cherry on top It's the perfume for the cherry on top the perfume that finishes it all the perfume that makes everything better so let's say you have a fragrance that missing something maybe needs a little sweetness whatever it might be throw some of vanilla 28 in that mix and thank me later it's a sweet sugary warm vanilla with a little booziness in the background and what makes this vanilla a little bit unique to me and a more feminine linen vanilla is the vanilla orchid and the jasmine at the top i definitely pick that up when i smell this i definitely pick this up when i smell this perfume. i mean again look at the dent i have this in 100 ml and i already have a backup it's a compliment getter and like catnip to men this perfume just warrants compliments so you better go get you one of these so do you notice how dark my juice is the longer this sits and macerates the better the juice gets because typically when you buy the juice is not that dark but look at this juice it's good it's good get you one of keoli's vanilla 28. now we have killian's i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess now let me say i am not the biggest fan of killian's perfumes i've tried so many but something about the dna just doesn't sit right on my skin it doesn't smell right to my nose but i will say um angel share and this is two that i've tried that i actually gravitate towards and i do have this in a travel size so i'm not sure if i'm actually going to get a full size of it but angel share is definitely full size worthy so i do find this blind by safe and it's a very well done well blended perfume you get a blast of marshmallows in the opening and that lemon um, but the lemon is like so subtle but it stays throughout the perfume and i love that lemon thing in the perfume i also get some of the black tea in here it's a sugary sweet perfume but not excessively so it's just a pretty well done well blended perfume and like i said i think the lemon in here just hooked me with the blend of the marshmallows and everything else in it i definitely love it and i do find this to be a safer blind buy perfume Burberry Her Elixir is a strawberry milkshake in a bottle. It's creamy, it's lactonic, it's sweet. I get a lot of the vanilla and the strawberry. Those are the dominant notes that stand out to me. But the vanilla in here is like a whipped vanilla. It's light and fluffy and airy. This is just a very ladylike feminine perfume. It just makes me feel like if you're in this soft life era that that's the kind of perfume you will gravitate towards. And this perfume lasts and projects more than you think. Like when you wear this perfume, you don't smell it on you. People but around you get whiffs of it and ask you what you're wearing. It's just this light scent, but it projects you. You get compliments when you wear it. You smell so ladylike. You smell so pink. And for that reason, I find Burberry Elixir to be a safer blind buy option. 
So there we have it, my list of safer bland by perfumes. I hope this helps for if ever you're in a pinch or like I say, you're a rebel and just want to buy the full size. I hope that this list will help you in choosing an option. Everything is listed in the description box along with all my social media platforms. Check it out. I'd like to have you on my other platforms as well. Please like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Help me to grow here on YouTube. And while you're here, check out some of my previous videos. Like, why not? You're already here, sis. Anyway, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.